And I'm here with Sammy Crawford, owner of Bone Crusher Boxing, and he is here to tell us about how to keep his youth outreach program alive. And Sammy, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you. Nice being here. Give, so you have a, a, a boxing uh, gym yes, on uh, Renwick Street uh, in uh, South Monroe, yeah. and then uh, you also have the youth program that you started in 2019. Yep, started in 2019. Uh, give us some details about your youth program. Yes, yeah, our youth boxing mentoring program. Program. Initially, when we first started the program, it was just mostly of the training, and we do Bible study with uh, cartoon mm -hmm. Bibles. We all uh, allow the uh, the older kids to assist the younger kids in reading all uh, the cartoon Bibles to make it fun. And we, over the years, we have you know transitioned to uh, some of the kids that's doing competition now. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a mixture of you know. Utilizing boxing as a tool to help some of these kids that are struggling with different things, you know, characteristic things like anger management or self-esteem self issues, just kind of cover a lot of issues, you know, just to help them out. And how can boxing and being in a competition and being part of a team help these youth that oh, you see? Yeah, it, it's tremendous. Uh, you know, some kids are really easily to be an influence and sometimes you take them out of these uh, environments and put them in an environment with some of the kids mm -hmm. that identify with some of their traits but you know with male mentors who are constantly are uh, feeding them with positive mentor or uh, information and advice as they mature in the program it helps them start to develop a different outlook on how they look at life and I actually know of a child that got into boxing yeah. and uh, it ended up he, he uh, ended up being his niche and became part of a team and uh, he's really grown up, grown up to be a mature young man and, it, and I attribute it to uh, being a part of a team with boxing and so your program is important and I understand you're looking for donations to keep it alive. Oh most definitely are at this time here some of the parents are struggling uh, you know with the uh, inflation it's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hosting a uh, fundraiser uh, you know some of the stuff we bought for the fundraiser was overwhelming support but you know we need cushion and you know we need help so you know with me being here it's an honor to be here to just be able to uh, share this program with the community and try to keep our doors open. How can someone help and uh, how can families and youth get involved? Uh, definitely uh, you know uh, we're located in Monroe 3307 Raymond Street uh, any donation uh, to help us keep our utilities paid, the rent, uh, just basic insurance, but also snacks for the kids because when they come there, some kids, you know, need a meal or need a snack before they turn in to the night. It just, uh, you know, overwhelming uh, some of the responsibility, but, you know, we ask for community help. Well, thank you so much for all you're doing for mentoring the youth, Sammy. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Look forward to uh, having you back. Yes,